Recently, I stumbled into a few new lubricants that I wanted to try out, and uh, the differentiator was, among a couple of them, they're supposed to be safe for plastics or safe for rubber. And I had the, the new ones, plus a few that I had already collected, and I went to the dollar store and I bought a pack of rubber bands. They look like, they look like this, and I thought to do an experiment where I, I stretch them out over a piece of uh, PVC, and then I apply all these different lubricants slash cleaners slash protectors and, and then uh, see which ones uh, the rubber bands can survive. So here you go. The products I tested are REM oil, 3-in-1 oil, 3-in-1 RV Care rubber conditioner, um, CRC-226 multi-purpose precision lubricant, and Ballistol or Ballistol, however you say it, multi-purpose lubricant protectant, and WD-40. Okay, let's see how the REM oil goes. I put that on the rubber bands. And then we'll go with the three-in-one oil. Oh, I mixed this up. This is the th regular three-in-one. Now we'll do the three in one rubber, which is this product to prevent overspray like this. Okay. Then we're going to do CRC 226. That's this product. It's supposed to be safe for um, safe for plastics. And then we're gonna do ballast all. It looks like this. Uh oh, something snapped. That's the three in one. Three in one rubber. Oh my gosh, the rubber snapped the first. Okay, so not good for rubber bands, even though it's called rubber conditioner. Oh my gosh, Thad, wow. Okay, well, I didn't even get finished with my spring. Ballistol, Ballistol, whatever, I don't know. Then the last one is WD-40, which I already know to be pretty aggressive. So it's likely to snap these. All right, CRC has popped. No, sorry, three in one. Yeah, and one CRC. Now let's see how many minutes the other ones last. So this is a pretty interesting result to me because, um, you know, WD-40 I knew was uh, pretty harsh on rubbers and stuff, but uh, this one, this product uh, specifically is supposed to be uh, safe for plastic. It says plastic safe and improves electrical properties. And, um, and when you look at their, uh, they actually have a video that says safe for ABS, Noral, Lexan. So maybe those three plastics, it is compatible with whatever these rubber bands are made of. Um, not so much. The RV Care, this is 301's version that is sold at Walmart, uh, advertising that it's good for conditioning the seals on your rubber uh, strips and seals. And um, the rest of them, I pretty much just had no... Uh, no prior expectation of whether it would be okay or not. So the REM oil, and this is generally sold for, for uh, guns, conditioning and protecting from rust, and the, um, and the Ballistol, Ballistol is uh, pretty much the same story. I don't know much about this product, but I'm told it's uh, 
comes from a German recipe and a friend of mine likes it because it's uh, it's skin safe. It says, yeah, no carcinogens, skin safe, eco-friendly. So there you go. I, uh, I ran this for, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, the product sitting on these rubber bands and I don't want to continue the the experiment, but in general, we already know uh, what uh, what's less aggressive on rubber.